uh, today marks 35 years since the Schoharie Bridge collapse killed 10 people. As we mark this somber moment in local history, News 10 ABC's Harrison Grubb explores some of the changes to bridge safety in the decades since. April 5th, 1987, a day that won't be forgotten in the capital region. That morning, as motorists traveled along the thruway over the Schoharie Creek in Montgomery County, two spans suddenly collapsed, with four cars and a tractor trailer falling about 80 feet into the rain-soaked creek below, killing 10. It sounded like lightning struck when the bridge went out. And then it just collapsed from there. An additional span collapsed later in the day when no one was on the structure. Federal investigators found the probable cause of the accident was poor maintenance by the state. The National Transportation Safety Board also cited the bridge inspection program and the design of the bridge itself as other causes of the disaster. Following the tragedy over the Schoharie Creek, the State Department of Transportation says both the state and the federal government enacted changes when it came to construction, maintenance, and inspection of highway bridges. In a statement, the DOT says in part, quote, since 1988, the New York State Department of Transportation has had one of the most comprehensive and rigorous bridge inspection programs in the nation. All highway bridges statewide must be inspected every two years, if not sooner. The statement goes on to say in part, quote, bridge inspectors assess all bridge components and are required to evaluate, score, and document the condition of structural elements as well as the general components common to all bridges. Additional funding also hopes to strengthen the state's infrastructure. In a statement, the New York State Thruway Association says in part, quote, an additional $200 million will be invested in thruway infrastructure within the capital region to allow us to continue operating one of the safest superhighways in the nation. Governor Hochul's proposed DOT capital plan also includes funding for modernizing and renewing roadways and bridges statewide. Reporting in Fort Hunter, Harrison Grubb, News 10, ABC.